Okay, so let's talk about what the weirdness that occurs at pi over 2, 0, pi, 3 pi over 2. And, you know, we don't have to use 0. I could just say, let me just erase that and turn it into 2 pi because it's the same thing. Now, the reality is that uh, in certain cases, you're going to end up with 0 or undefined answers. Tangent is a perfect example of when this would happen. Now, if we're really to look at tangent, tangent's relationship of the angle is that's supposed to be a degree sign there um, is opposite over adjacent. Now, that works. That's fine and dandy when you have a number that's possible. But really, opposite would refer to the rise. And then the adjacent side would just be the run. So really, tangent is the slope of the line, based on using the x-axis as sort of your horizon. Uh, well, that f works, you know, relatively well until you get to the point where you end up with like pi over two. So in this case, I'm dealing with this. You will notice that this line in this case, if I was thinking about, okay, it's a slope, it's not going over. If I'm going to look at it as opposite over adjacent, the opposite side, uh, or sorry, rise over run, why would I look at it as opposite over adjacent? Well, I didn't make this point at all. Rise over run, sorry. Um, the rise part is great. It's definitely rising, I would say, one. For the run part, uh, no. It's not doing any running at all. I have friends like that. But the reality is you can't divide anything by zero, so this is undefined. It happens in lots of places that way. Anytime you're sort of stuck in that universe, you know, it goes a little sideways about what you want to do. Same thing with, and like if I was doing cotangent here, same line, don't know why I erased it, Just don't know why I can't draw it. Um, in this case, it'd be run over rise. Well, the run thing's still not working, but the rise thing is, so you end up getting a final value here of zero. So if you get that popped up, that's probably why, at least for those two. But in other areas, it pops up to be a problem as well. It rears its ugly head, and you'll get errors in your calculator, and maybe you'll forget like why they're happening. So for instance, let's look at the secant of 270 degrees. Which is right down here. Now, secant is uh, related to cosine, of course. It's reciprocal. So, uh, whereas cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, with secant you're dealing with hypotenuse over adjacent. But more so, the adjacent side, if you're using this as sort of your horizon line, is really the x value. It's the change in x. It's like how much it goes out from here. Well, at 270, it's not going out at all. So once again, I've got this thing going on. So if I was looking at the hypotenuse, that's fine. I mean, you know, whatever. It could just be 1, let's say, or negative 1 since it's going down. But since it's a length, you don't really have to worry about it as much. So let's just say it's 1. Uh, whereas the um, adjacent side doesn't even exist. There isn't an adjacent side. Not really an opposite side either, but there's definitely no adjacent side. It's not doing anything. It's not going left or right. It's just a straight up and down line. So you end up with 1 over 0, which you can't do. So you end up with an undefined answer. So if you've been wondering, number 1, like what's tangent? Well, it's the slope. Um, but really why you get 0 and why you get undefined sometimes when you're working it, that's why it happens. Because it's impossible for you to have or divide by 0. And in some cases when you're measuring the slope or in the case of secant here, you can't find an adjacent side if it doesn't exist. So you put a 0 in there and then work from that direction. But that's it. How strange exact values at 90, 360, 
270, and 180 in not that order.